Hey guys, in this tutorial you will learn how to work with animations in Unreal Engine. We will create a blend place and an animation blueprint and then he will transition between all these animations or when you hit a key on your keyboard he does a certain animation as well. All of this will be created using the blend space to transition between idling, walking or even running and we will create a state machine to loop between these different animations. So the animations that you will need are on the screen right now. If you don't know how to create this or where to find this, you can use these tutorials as well. Links will be down in the description. So if you're ready for it, ready, set, go! First, we need to do some basic setup. Open Unreal Engine Project Browser, go to third person, give it a fitting name and choose these settings and hit create. And then into our third person blueprint folder, right here in the content browser. You can also open it with Ctrl and then um, with spacebar. You can also dock this in layout or just this dock this once again, if that's even a name for it. Now this is Unreal Engine 5, but it also works in Unreal Engine 4 or the other versions. So you can just follow along. Now into content, we're going to create a new folder for this and let's name this one character. Then we have to drag our files from our Mixmo previous video into this file right here. So first of all, we are going to name this fitting names. So we had our first character animation right here was a capoeira one let's change its name to our low poly character and this also has the capoeira enabled in this one so the other ones don't have the skeletal mesh we don't need it i mean for this one because we have one already here these were just the normal animations neutral idle is a good name for this one walking is a good name running but for jumping up we going to name this one our jump start because that's the name that unreal gives it as well then jump end and jump loop for the jump falling one. So these are fitting names for in Unreal. First of all, let's import our low poly character and let's enable a skeletal mesh. We have to do this once because these other animations will be applied to the skeletal mesh. Import animation is on because we want our capoeira on this and these other settings are fine and hit import. Right now, we can see here, this low poly character is our skeletal mesh. This is the animation of the capoeira that came along with it. And you see this works fine in Unreal as well. This is our physical asset, great, our material and our skeleton with the name of the bones. This is exactly what we need. Now for the other ones, you can just drag them in into Unreal. Check if this is also applied to our low poly character skeleton that we just imported and these settings are fine, so hit import for all our animations. Okay, great. You can also just click on this and you can see if it works or not. Good. First thing we will need to create is a blend space. Right click, go to animation and go to blend space 1D. Now we have to select our character. We need this for our low poly character skeleton. Click this one and give it a name. Uh, blend space and uh, let's say low poly character okay great open that one up now give it fitting names this will be handy for later now a blend space is a space where we blend in between animations right so first thing we will have to do right here on these axis settings go to horizontal we will change the animation that is playing based on its speed so give it the name of speed and the default running speed in unreal as a maximum is set to 600 now you can change this but this is mostly the default one now we can drag in our animation right here go to our idle and drag it here on the left now we can also change our size of our character later on we need our neutral one you can see 600 here is on the maximum of this line now we need our walking animation and place this one here on this line and then we need our running one and let's put this at the end now watch when i hold shift and i can drag my arrow around and you can see when it's low speed it's idling then when my speed is about 150 it's walking and then it's slowly running. So you can see it is blending in between of these values and changing our animations accordingly. This is why it's a blend space and this will be pretty nice for transitioning in our animations. Next we need a special blueprint, namely an animation blueprint. So right click, animation and create an animation blueprint. Then choose low poly character skeleton, 
not this one, but the one we just created and hit OK. Give it a fitting name. I named this low poly NMBP, so I can find it later on again. And this blueprint will dictate, namely, which animation is played between our blend space or our jumping animations. Now, to do this, we go to Content, Mannequin, Animations. And to make this simple, we will open up this third person NMBP and we can copy what here is done and we can replace it with our own animations. That's a very simple way to do it. So, first of all, there are two booleans created, is an air and speed. Now, for my low poly character, I will also create these variables here. Hit the plus icon and name this one is in air. Type it like this because then you will have less work with reconnecting wires and just copy this over. And a second variable right here, namely speed. And speed, it's not a boolean, it's a float. And hit compile. Now compile could give some errors because things don't exist yet, but they will soon. This will work for our state machine as well. So I delete this one. I go to this example of a third person character. Just copy, control C. Go to our low poly character, control V in the event graph. And this should work. Now, if these are not connected, there's something wrong with your variables. Recheck that or just drag them in and connect just like this. Okay, so our event graph is finished. Now for our animation graph, we need something that's a state machine. Right click, then look for state machine, add new state machine, and just plug this in like this. Hit compile. Once again, I told you there's a warning sometimes, but this will be fixed once we created our actual state machine. Double click to open up the state machine. And now if you look here to this state machine, so the animal graph there, state machine, this is the naming convention that Unreal uses. And let's use the same one from idle run, jump start, jump loop, and jump end. And these are also some transitions that they use. So let's recreate this. From entry, this is a blend space. So let add a state idle slash run. Then from this angle, add a state, namely the jump start. Add a state for the jump loop. Then drag from jump loop to add another state namely to jump end like this and connect the jump end back to idle run because he always comes from when he starts to jump he's always sometime in the air and this animation is looping and he has to land sometime and that will drag back to the idle and run so from running we go to jumping and back now on the idle and run our animation here so we can compare it to this this is the third person idle run 2d blend space so we created also a blend space namely here it is the blend space now if you don't see this in any preview go to asset browser drag in the blend space right here connect this one up and then we have to find our variable namely the speed not set but get it plug it in and hit compile so now you can really compare it like this and this is the same this arrow to go back and also here then from our jump start this is connected up like this so for example you can see that this is dragged in the jump start so from here i look for my jump start and connect this one up and disable loop animation now Let's do this for the other ones as well. My jump loop. And this one will be looped because I don't know how long I will be in the air. So this needs to be looped. And also from the jump end. From jump end right here. Okay, our animations are in there. But now we need to declare the transitions right here. So let's compare this again to this transition. First of all, we have to check if our character is in the air. And if it is in the air, then our jumping animation can be enabled. So click here. Get the is in air. Connect this one up. Hit compile. And this should be fine. Now, when should it start looping? Go to this transition right here. Now, 
this is time remaining. So, go to here and type in time remaining from the jump start. Now, if the time is less than, so get the less than icon, less than, let's say, one second, namely one tenth of a second, so 0 0.1 is also here, then it should transition. Then, from the jump loop to jump end, if it is not in the air, then we should go to the jump end. So, dragon is in air, get it? But we have to type in not. So if it is not, then we can enter this transition. And once again from jump end back to idle, we have to do time remaining again. And once again, if the time remaining is less than 0 0.1, then we can enter this transition. So right now, this state is complete. And then it's time to add everything together. Because right now, when I hit play, I have this character enabled. So how do I switch it? Click this one and add the third person blueprint character. Go to the viewport, then click on the mesh right here. And let's choose our low poly character right here and use the animation blueprint and look for the low poly NMBP that we created earlier. Right now I have to scale them down. It's easier if I disable snapping for this one. So it's making it a little smaller. Okay, so it fits the capsule right now. And now when I hit play, okay, he's walking a bit in the air. I have to move him down a bit. Okay, great. So right now he is walking. He can jump, and then he transitions back into idling, walking, and running. And he's in air as long as he needs to, and then he transitions back to here. Great. So everything is working right now. Now, as a bonus, I will show you how you can enable another animation when you hit the key on your keyboard. So go to our third-person character, and instead of our viewport, go to the event graph. And let's say we want our animation, namely our capoeira, that our character came with. First of all, we have to remember for how long this is playing. So when I drag this all to the right, you see 3.43 seconds. Remember that one? Or maybe I dug this one right here. So when I hit C on my keyboard, so C keyboard, and you can see it, the C from Capoeira, I want this animation to be played. So when it's pressed, hit play animation and from the mesh, because it will be executed from the mesh that we just just set up okay and then i can select the asset right here and this was named low poly character enum but i can give this a better name of course find this one now when i now do this when i hit play you can see i can walk around fine but when i hit c it is doing this animation but when the animation is finished it's stuck in this forever so how do you fix this first of all add a delay note and remember our duration once again, 3.43, so change this one here, 3.43, and then type in animation and set animation mode, and it automatically come with the mesh again, and then set back to use animation blueprint, because that's what we created earlier. So now when I'm inside of my level, run around jump transition great idle now and now when i hit c it is doing the capoeira move and when that one is done i'm back in here and i can do this all again guys that's how you create animations and state machines into unreal engine there are more tutorials like this coming up in the future so like the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel to see these ones go live and remember to have a nice day goodbye